Hello, and welcome to an episode of City Car Driving. In today's episode, we're going to be testing out this G-Class. This is a Mercedes G500. Let's get into the interior. And you can see this is a lot different from the AMG Mercedes that I drove a while back in this game. The one I drove a while back was the AMG model, and it was the G65, something like that. And what that meant is that it had a big, huge engine under the hood. But also what it meant was that it's old. That was a 2013 model. This is a 2019 model. And I have a custom sounder and I also have the reverse camera. This is a really nice truck. But car seat butt up. For me, I feel like one of the biggest improvements is just how the interior looks in general compared to the old one. And I have the black and white interior, and this and I also have the carbon fiber inserts, and I just crashed into a pole because I am an idiot. Let's get off that pole. Still my turn signal on. But actually, we're gonna be going. Well, actually, yeah, we are going to the. I guess screw you, person. Right of way intersection violated. Obviously. Yeah. You might have noticed how good this thing sounds at startup. Personally, how it starts up, for me, it sounds a lot better than when you're actually driving it. Still sounds real good though. When it builds up the RPM is where it sounds the best. Because it grumbles. Get into this line. Now the mod page said that this had a lot of offered capability. Well, we'll see. Eventually. Now when oh, okay, bad visibility. Well, as it turns out, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go, so let's get across the Right of way, then uh, that's a lot of things right there. So we're gonna mess around here. First things first, we're gonna go to the right and just go through this course here. Start, start, stop. Don't really see why this is a point, but when I take my driving test, I'm just gonna be like, meh. Don't tell me what to do, I know what to do. But you can see that even though this is a big SUV, it's a good size SUV, but the, the fact that it's so narrow means that it just goes through here and I haven't gotten up onto the curb yet except for right there when I was getting up onto the curb. But besides there, it's a okay, green light. Um, the, <laughs> in that little area, uh, it, it boggles the mind just how fast this thing goes. Okay, the little five foot area. What's those people to get up to? 30 miles an hour in that zone. And right here. And on the way out, I'm going to say maybe 40. 55. Well, of course we did just murder someone, but we hit 55. So we're going to go to where the country road is. I'm going to drive this off-road. This is... Uh, kind of scared. Uh, that's a person right there. Idiot. 7,000 RPM out of a V8. Holy crap, it takes off. Yeah, that's a bit fast. A bit fast. Okay. So, let me just try to catch up to this guy, because this guy looks like he's, um, drunk or something like that. But anyway, this is the area I found it, finally. It actually took about uh, 20 minutes for me to find it. I need to keep it safe this from the car in front of me. Yeah, obviously. Meh, he's drunk. Not gonna deal with him. I'm off the road. Okay. We're going off the road right here. Actually, I've never been off the road up here before. So I'm not gonna go off the road yet, but right up here. I've never been off, off the road right here. Back there? Yeah, up here. No. Okay. Let's go to the outside view. From the outside view, it's actually just silence. Except for just a, the, the tiniest bit of engine noise. And also, I have the black wheels on it, because... Oh, why not? You only hear the engine when you floor it. It's so stupid. Why? That was loud. I mean, this really isn't stressing the, the vehicle out at all. I mean, maybe if you had a little front-wheel drive car that wouldn't do anything. I mean, 
If you had a little front wheel drive car, maybe it would be stressing it a lot. But with this thing, no. Do you have an idea here? Pull off the road. Oh, and that's cool. I just, I just now noticed that it actually tells you what gear you're in. In the dash. Let's go over here real quick. This is a little bouncy. I like the sound that this makes. It's not really completely realistic. But it is a pretty nice sound. So, instead of saying how hard is it for this to get up that, let's say how easy is it. Oh yeah, it's just... I don't even put my foot on the throttle that hard and it just goes. Well, what that means is we're just gonna Baja here then. Get, get, get it going. Go. Ah, uh, that's a good, not good. Well, we can't seem to pick up speed to Baja. Oh, well, we can't, we can't find speed to crash, but we can't find speed to Baja. Backup camera. Make yourself some use now. Okay, so backup camera. Let's get around this. And straight. Okay, how fast are we going? Oh, wait, we're going faster than I was expecting. 70 miles per hour. And this is actually a little filling point. I don't remember this being here a long time ago. So I, I can actually fill it up. That's cool, I guess. Not gonna do it, though, because... I mean, I really don't care. Holy crap, it's bouncy. Bounce, bounce, bounce. But this is pretty good. Holy... Ah, uh, what just happened? Why my... Car. Hello. Same thing to start it. Why? What the... Mm. Does this make any sense to you? Okay, so right now I'm holding the starting button so that it goes. Oh, I ran out of fuel. I like how right after I get past the f filling station, I ran out of fuel. Emergency refueling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid running out of fuel, f fuel completely. Driving with the fuel tank empty leads to fuel pump damage and failure. Very true. You want to know why? Because it, then it tries to suck air, and then the fuel pump, the gas actually lubricates the fuel pump. And the minimum amount was refueled. Okay. Sounds so good when it starts up. Okay, let's go fill up. But it's like, as I go through the trees, it decides to just die on me. The steering is so tight. Oh, God. This takes some effort to turn. It's basically impossible to turn the whole way if you're trying to turn fast. Well, if you're going fast on this sort of road, then you... Oh, okay. Okay, wait. Gas cap's on the other side. Just a little tip. If you don't know where it, what side your gas cap's on, look up the little gas cap thing in your gauge cluster, and it should tell you. Okay. Come on, this is a G cost. It, it gets about two miles per gallon. Well, five liters is around one and a half gallons, okay? Which means we're going to go about 13 miles. And with the way I'm driving, we're probably going to go about two miles. That's why we ran out so fast. I can't get it over about how good this thing sounds when I start it up. Okay, look, I'll show you just how stiff the wheel is. Okay, so I'm going to find a corner, and I'm going to let go of the wheel. And after we go through whatever that was there... I wonder, can I drift this? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Now look, if I let go, just launch the wheel back. You might not be able to see it all that much because of the frame rate of the game and how, how it is in real life. Come on, go. This is probably going to be our top speed here. 80 miles per hour. 90, and uh, we're dead. So, hopefully you like this episode. Goodbye.